now total time taken by the body before it stops bouncing this is a smooth floor on which a ball is dropped the ball is dropped from a height h after first collision it rebounds to a height h1 and after second collision it rebounds to a height h2 and so on okay now first it is falling from a height h for this the time of descent when the ball falls from a height h is t is equal to root of 2 to 2h by g t is equal to root of 2h by g this is time of descent okay it hits the ground and then it rebounds to a height h1 the time taken by the ball to rise to a height h1 that is time of ascent the time taken to rise to a height h1 is equal h1 is t1 is equal to root of 2h1 by g okay similarly t2 is equal to root of 2h2 by g and so on what is the total time traveled by the body t is equal for this the time is t to ascend a height h1 time is t1 to descend the same height time is t1 total time 2t1 for the next collision total time 2t2 plus 1 this is the total time taken by the body before it stops bouncing okay now what is t we know it is root of 2h by g plus root of 2 into root of 2h1 by g plus 2 into root of 2h2 by g plus 1 right is equal here we know we know hn is equal to e power 2n into h okay just we have derived so what is h1 e square into h what is h2 e power 4 into h and so on so therefore t is equal to root of 2h by g plus 2 into root of 2 into what is h1 e square into h by g plus 2 into root of 2 what is h2 e power 4 into h by g plus so on t is equal to root of 2h by g plus 2 into root of 2h by g into e square 
प्लस टू इंटू रूट ऑफ टू हेच बाई जी इंटू पावर फोर प्लस वन ओके नाउ टू हेच बाई जी इज टेकन कामन टी इज इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ टू हेच बाई जी इंटू वन प्लस टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ई स्क्वायर इज नथिंग बट ई प्लस टू ई स्क्वायर प्लस दैट इज टू ई क्यू प्लस वन हियर आई राइट T is equal to root of 2h by g into 1 plus 2e common 2e into 1 plus e plus e square plus e cube plus so on. Root of 2h by g into 1 plus To e into this is geometrical progression sum of infinity terms a by one minus r here a is one by one minus common ratio r is e okay here a is equal to one comma r is equal to e s infinity is equal to a by one minus r this is the formula we have applied. Now, root of two h by g into one plus two e by one minus e is equal to root of two h by g into one minus e plus two e by one minus e. Finally, t is equal to root of two h by g into one plus e by one minus e. This is the total time taken by the body before it stops bouncing. Now I shall find its average velocity speed and average velocity. Now average speed of the ball during its entire journey. average speed of the ball during its entire journey is equal to total distance traveled by total time taken what is the total distance traveled just we determined it is h into 1 plus e square by 1 minus e square by what is total time root of 2 h by g into 1 plus e by 1 minus e okay is equal h by 1 into g by 2h under root into 1 plus e square by 1 plus e into 1 minus e 1 minus e square can be written as 1 plus e into 1 minus e Into one minus e by one plus e. One minus e gets cancelled. So is equal here root h into root h. It is here it is root h. So one root h gets cancelled. So it is root of g h by two into One plus e square by one plus e whole square. 
this is the average speed okay now i determine its average velocity average velocity of the ball during its entire journey is equal to displacement by total time taken right what is displacement here i write the body falls from a height h and rises to a height h1 and falls the same height and rises to a height h2 and uh, falls the same height h2 so what is its total displacement by considering displacement we should consider the direction of motion here the distance travelled is h plus this is upward distance minus h1 this is downward distance plus h1 minus h2 plus h2 minus h3 plus h3 and so on by total time okay while measuring displacement we should take the direction of motion into consideration it will be finally h by what is total time root of 2h by g into root of 2h by g into 1 plus e by 1 minus e okay is equal h by 1 into root of g by 2h into 1 minus e by 1 plus e root of gh by 2 into 1 minus e by 1 plus e this is its average velocity during its entire journey okay right